Hey everybody, it's Devin with Cognito Moto, and today we're going to show you how to install the Thruxton R and the Thruxton 1200 Fender Eliminator Kit. So the kit includes the base plate, the tail light and license plate holder, a wire cover, a bracket to hold the stock, turn signals, and the second bracket to hold aftermarket turn signals, and some hardware. Alright, the tools required are an 8mm socket, a 5mm hex, a 4mm hex, and a T20 Torx. Alright, so you're going to want to start with removing the seat. And you want to disconnect the connector for the tail light and the turn signals. Then from underneath, there's two tabs to remove the ECU hold down. So now your ECU is loose. You can just kind of put it out of the way. And then we're going to need to remove two screws from the underside here and here. You're going to want to hold on to these because they'll need to be reused. So you want to remove these four screws and that will release the fender from the frame. Once the fender is removed, you're going to want to remove these two washers and spacers and they'll be reused on the new kit. From the bottom side of the fender, you'll need to remove these three screws to release the tail light. You'll need to remove the wire cover using the T20 Torx. You want to keep track of which wires go to what so you don't have to figure it out when you reinstall it. The reds go with the reds and the blacks go with the blacks. The red going to right, the black going to left. Then you can remove the stock turn signals. Once the turn signals are removed, there will be two more torques that need to be removed to get the tail light out. Once everything's removed, we can now start to reassemble the tail light. So now we're going to install the tail light to the tail light bracket. It can be installed how it came originally from the factory, or you can flip it over for a cleaner look. You're going to want to reuse the two torques to attach the tail light. Now we're going to reinstall the turn signals. Now you're going to want to fish the tail light wire through the center hole. With the included hardware, we're going to mount the turn signal bracket to the tail light bracket. Now we're going to reattach the wires. Now we're going to attach the brake light and turn signals to the base plate. You'll use the two longer bolts that come with the kit and the washers. You're going to want to leave this loose so you can adjust it once you mount this to the bike. The wire cover will be mounted here, but we're going to wait to install this till we get everything mounted to the bike so we can ensure the tail light is all straight. Back of the bike, we're going to mount the assembly into place. You're going to want to align 
the trunk release cable with the slot. Now we're going to want to place the ECU back into position. And then reuse your ECU tie down to lock it into place. And back here there's two clips that will lock it. And we're going to fish the brake light cable through the side here. Now we're going to reattach the seat. And adjust the tail light. Now that the tail light's been adjusted into position, we're going to attach the connector couple.